the St. Gotthard Massif. It was once the biggest obstacle between northern and southern Europe. The mountain was a barrier to people and goods that had to be laboriously overcome. Today it's easy to pass through the mouse hole in the middle of the mountain. It's as though the valley has been extended through the rock. We are at kilometre zero. So this is it, the new Gotthard base tunnel. Kilometres of concrete, cables and track. Every now and then a ventilation shaft. On our journey through it, the emergency lights are switched on to give a better view. That way we can see Swiss precision engineering clearly. But even so, it all seems somehow rather unspectacular. Just a tunnel. And yet, not just any tunnel. The Gotthard Base Tunnel is now the longest railway tunnel in the world. It connects Rotterdam and Genoa, Zurich and Milan. With this new transit artery, Europe is moving closer together. But this is expensive. Every metre of the tunnel costs more than 200,000 Swiss francs. Next stop, Sedrun. Here is one of four underground emergency stop points. If there is a fire or some other danger in the tunnel, passengers can evacuate to emergency platforms here. The green escape doors will then open, giving access to safe evacuation routes. We'll take one of these evacuation routes. And, via a dark ventilation shaft the height of a house, we emerge at the only open rift in the mountain. There's no concrete cladding, no plaster to dress this open wound of the Gotthard. A small lake collects the water dripping from the mountain. A staircase leads down to the shore. A builder's forgotten hard hat is swimming in the lake. Above it, a dark hole opens up to the mountain and gives some idea of the mass of rock weighing down on the Gotthard base tunnel. Five point eight million Swiss francs have been sunk into the mountain forever, invested in the two waiting rooms of Porta Alpina. Eight hundred meters below Sedrun in Canton Graubünden, the deepest railway station in the world was to be built in the middle of the Gotthard base tunnel as a connection to the Alpine tourist region. Today, just two dark hollows in the mountain recall this shattered dream. They're sealed with black metal bars and warning signs saying no entry. Also behind bars is a statue of Saint Barbara standing in a niche. She's the patron saint of miners and tunnel builders. Regardless of nationality or religion, the tunnel builders honour their patron saint. A quick look, a small thank you, a prayer, or perhaps nothing at all. Saint Barbara's feast day is celebrated every year on the 4th of December. The mountain's victims are remembered. After 800 metres through the supply shaft, we've arrived in Sedrun, and now we're flying towards Faido.
The snow-covered St. Gotthard Massif. What a panoramic view. The Gotthard Base Tunnel runs 2,300 metres below these rocks, deeper than any other tunnel in the world. And deep in the tunnel, you have no sense of the force of nature these mountains represent. Now we're passing the Canton border between Graubünden and Ticino. Until the year 1803, this is where Switzerland ended. Now we are officially in the south. We're diving back down, falling into the darkness. The next and last stop, Faido. Bitte folgen Sie der Fluchtwegbeschilderung bis zur Wartezone. Von der Wartezone aus werden Sie dann weiterfahren. Sie befinden sich in einem sicheren Bereich. Bitte helfen Sie sich gegenseitig und befolgen Sie die Anweisungen des Personals. Hopefully this announcement will never have to be played, except as a test. It can be heard over the tunnel sound system and the engineers have tested it thoroughly. Instead of the same announcement repeatedly, the engineers played music for a change and to soothe their nerves. They didn't choose just any music, but the last movement of Ludwig van Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the anthem of Europe. Kilometer 57. The mountains topped with year-round snow are now behind us. The Gotthard, once the biggest obstacle in Europe, is now just a tunnel. <laughs> 